Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Gemini. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, um, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Gemini, you, uh, you're going to have a decision to make in the future. Um, I don't believe this has happened yet. Um, it's almost like the next chapter. I feel like you're currently in the Four of Swords energy, okay? Um, healing from the three, which came previously. It's the card that precedes this card. So uh, you had to have gone through that to end up here. And so um, you could be here in this Four of Swords energy trying to heal. Um, you may have a lot of fears, a lot of anxieties. You could be obsessing over something or someone. Um, there's somebody from your past that you're really missing, okay? Um, and, um, it, I mean, it is possible that this was a third-party relationship. Uh, if not, then this person, they left you out in the cold. But, um, I feel like this person uh, is definitely going to reach out to you. So this is what I mean. In the future, you're going to have a choice uh, whether or not you want to take this person back, whether you can forgive them for what they for what they did or for for a choice that they made, because I kind of feel like the other person was the one that ended it. Okay. Um, and you feel abandoned, left out in the cold. You may feel like this person kind of used you, you know. Um, you fell head over heels in love with this person. You were in love with this person. I, you know, I feel like this person, I do believe they love you too. And I feel like the decision that they did make in the past uh, was uh, strongly influenced by some one or something else, okay? But the feelings for you hadn't changed. I feel like when they took, whenever they took this decision, whatever it was, I feel that they still loved you, but I feel that there was another influence there that uh, that caused them to take the decision that they that they needed. What was that other influence? I don't know. I do know that there was something else there. But the thing is that this person is coming back and I know they're coming back and you can see that this person did always love you okay um, uh, they're gonna come back and they're going to tell you they love you um, they're going to explain why they left why they took the decision that they did you're going to get an explanation uh, and an apology for the wounding. So somebody is coming to speak the truth, to tell you the truth. You need to be careful of these ghosts of the past and this unforgiving energy. Okay? Because um, it could uh block you or stop you from proceeding with uh something that uh you had been wishing for and uh something that could uh, actually work out for you know the best that i mean it could actually be very very successful you have a card of success in the future, 
of restoration. This person is going to come and explain. They made a bad choice in the past. They made the wrong choice in the past. And now they want to make it right. The problem comes in here uh, be, because maybe you might feel unforgiving. You may feel like you can't really trust them. Like maybe uh, you're questioning their story, uh, what's true and what's false, okay? Um, you don't really know how to proceed with this. The thing is, your heart is still in it. Your, your heart still wants this person. It's your mind that's tearing everything to shreds, you know, all those, all those memories, all the fears, all the anxieties, all the insecurities. You feel this person has, uh, is not telling you everything. So you're very, going to be very, very challenged by the return of this person. I like I don't have the fool here, but I, I feel like you should in this case follow your heart. But of course that decision is up to you. But these cards are saying that this could be very successful. The danger is that you might be obsessing over uh something that ha because of something uh from the past because of that situation in the past, because of that decision that they took, because of that situation where you felt abandoned by this person. So it's, it's, you're obsessing over what you are going to be receiving in the future, and is this story they're giving me real? So that's that's where I see the problem is going to come in. You're very emotional. It's a very emotional situation. Somebody is returning to you. It's right here. Somebody is coming back to you. It's like a feeling of uh, for this other person, it's like coming home. So you feel like home to this person. And I th I believe that uh, you have that same feeling. It's just that these uh, this experience, the way everything went down, and how it left you feeling, that's that's what's interfering here. That's uh, in and is kind of presenting an obstacle for you. I feel that uh, this explanation allows you to see the situation with new eyes. There's wisdom to be gained here. But what we see is that you still feel it's risky because of the past. That's what we see. But here's the communication. Here's an apology. And most likely, I, I feel with these two, two nights, you've got a profession of love coming um, uh, along with those flowers. You, you may uh, initially get a, a text message um, from this person, uh, a written communication. Uh, this proceeds then to uh, an actual meeting reunion. Um, you may possibly receive a gift from this person also. So, I mean, it's going to be up to you, you know, what, what you're going to do with this. We see that you are going to be reassessing this. You don't, you were in the dark about uh, why this person did what they did in the past. And so, and now, uh, because of what happened in the past, um, the spilled cup, um, you have a bad feeling. But it is the swords that are, are causing you to feel this way.
and so um, it's possible uh, there was initially this feeling of abandonment by this person but I bet if you go farther back you will find uh, possibly other times where you may have felt that way uh, or you've had another or other bad experiences that set you up to think this way because the cards are saying there's a pattern of thinking with the devil there a pattern of this uh, of thinking you're going to fall or take a fall so it's like you get to a certain point and then you become very afraid so something in your past there's there's some uh, traumatic experience here in your past that has uh, set you up to think a certain way when it comes to these situations or has created a trigger I genuinely believe this person is coming back with good intentions if if you're looking for that confirmation uh, I believe that they are I believe that that person always loved you and I believe that there was other reasons or other influences that um, made them walk away from you but uh, the love that they had for you is also what brings them back to you so that is what I have for you I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing also thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation it is greatly appreciated many blessings to all of you